men and women. On behalf of the management and staff of the University of Ghana, I welcome you all to the 2024 college-based matriculation ceremonies. Before we proceed with this ceremony, I would like to announce that this university uses multiple media to circulate information in order to reach out to its stakeholders, including students. Let me take the opportunity to introduce you to the University of Ghana social media handles and other media platforms. Follow, like and subscribe to our social media handles displayed on your devices. For Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, you'll find us at Univ of GH. For LinkedIn, University of Ghana. For YouTube, University of of Ghana. The university has had a lineup of activities to mark the 75th anniversary. The anniversary logo is usually displayed at all programs and we invite you all to participate in the programs, take pictures by the logo and share on your social media platforms. Please note the hashtag for the anniversary celebrations. U hashtag UG is 75. Hashtag UG is 75. In addition to the above, tune in to Radio Universe 105.7 for news about the university. Again, do not forget to visit the university website or college website often to abreast yourself with news and announcements. The university website is www.ug.edu.gh as displayed on your devices. As displayed on your devices, the link to the College of Basic and Applied Sciences website is www.cbas.ug.edu.gh. The link to the College of Education website is www.coe.ug.edu.gh. The link to the College of Health Sciences website is www.chs.ug.edu.gh And the link to the College of Humanities website is www.coh.ug.edu.gh I hope you've been to the University of Ghana Computing Systems, UGCS, close to the BAM Library, to activate your UG email address, which is stated in your admission letter. If you have not already done so, I encourage you to. Once this is done, please do well to check your mails often for announcements and other pieces of information of relevance to you. For this matriculation ceremony, Please tweet at us using the following handle, hashtag UG matriculation, hashtag UG matriculation. Now, let's take the national anthem.
distinguished first men and women, it is my privilege to hand over to the college secretary to take over the proceedings of this ceremony. Thank you very much for your attention. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I welcome all of you to today's virtual matriculation ceremony, where we are gathered to matriculate students who have enrolled for courses in the 2023-2024 academic year, leading to degrees at the College of Education. We will confer on these new students membership of the University of Ghana. The university will hold separate matriculation ceremonies for students on the distance education program and students on special programs later in the year. Matriculation ceremonies are in line with Article 31 of the University of Ghana Act 2010, Act 806, which states that 1. A student admitted to the university shall take the matriculation oath and sign the matriculation register. 2. A student who fails to sign the matriculation register may be prevented from graduating by the university. Visiting students and other short-stay students who are studying at the university for one or two semesters are not part of this ceremony, but are expected to observe the same rules and regulations as matriculated students while they are here. The ceremony is in three parts. In part one, you will hear an address from the Vice Chancellor, Professor Nana Baapia Amfo, to be read on her behalf by the Provost of the College of Education, Professor Samoni Adekujo. We will be informed about the significance of a matriculation oath and what the university expects from its students. In part two, Students will swear the matriculation oath to be administered by the college secretary on behalf of the registrar. The oath can be found on the university's website. You will repeat the words of the oath after me at the appropriate time. Because this is a virtual ceremony and in keeping with the protocols, we have seven students from the college, namely Oneratu Abagri Sifu, Queen Star Asari, Philip Nanasari Anson, Augustina Sampana, Sajida Atu Raman, Ruth Emefa Azonyu, and Laurentia Kusia Jewa Adumaku. We will take the oath on air, and all other free students are also expected to take the oath. After the oath, one representative of the students will tell us the expectations of the 2023-2024 cohort of students and ceremonially sign the matricula, which is the Latin word for the register. The third part of the ceremony takes place online. Each student is to go online and electronically sign the matriculation oath. That is the record that indeed you are registered as a student in the University of Ghana and have accepted to abide by the oath that you are about to swear. I am informed that many of you have already done your registration online. Thank you and I urge you all who have not yet done your registration to go online and do this as soon as this ceremony is over. Freshmen and women, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the registrar, I wish to say thank you to all colleagues at all levels for the roles they have played in the process of admitting students, working on registration, orientation and matriculation, as well as putting the systems in place for the online delivery method that is being used this academic year. Matriculation class of 2024, we look forward to seeing you engage actively and positively in all activities of the university. I encourage you to embrace your new role as students of this great institution and I wish you well in your stay at the University of Ghana. It's now time for the Provost of the College of Education, Professor Samoni Adikujo, to present an address on behalf of the Vice Chancellor. Pro Vice Chancellors, Registrar, Fellow Provosts, Deans, Directors, and Heads of Departments and Halls, Members of Convocation, newly admitted students, parents and guardians, the press corps, 
Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Nanaba Apiamfo, I'm pleased to welcome you to the 2023-2024 matriculation ceremony. Hearty congratulations to all of you, fresh men and women, who have gained admission to pursue various programs of study here at the University of Ghana. We are honored that you made the University of Ghana your first choice, having decided to pursue higher education and worked extremely hard to qualify for admission to the premier university in Ghana. Indeed, you could not have made a better choice as your academic journey ahead promises to be rewarding, fulfilling, and enlightening within this conducive learning environment, coupled with lectures from top-notch faculty and support services from committed staff. With these, there are endless possibilities the University of Ghana has to offer. As a tradition of a university, matriculation ceremonies provide an opportunity for newly admitted students to be officially inducted as junior members of the university community. During the ceremony, you will be expected to take the matriculation oath, which is a solemn pledge to be obedient to the vice chancellor and all those in whom authority has been vested in this university. It is an undertaking to be of good behavior throughout your time as students here promising to maintain order and discipline in everything you do. As students, you are expected to contribute your quota to enhance the university's image wherever you find yourself, ensuring that you do not do anything to bring the name of the university into disrepute. I encourage you all to participate actively in all university activities and be committed to your studies. Dear students, you have joined us at a time when the university is committed more than ever to transforming the student experience to be at par with world-class universities in advanced countries. Through the Vice Chancellor's digitalization agenda, lecture halls have been refurbished and fitted with state-of-the-art technologies to enhance teaching and learning. Under the One Student, One Laptop initiative, 384 laptops have been distributed to needy and brilliant students to support academic work. Sword cutting ceremonies have been performed for the construction of hotspot comfort zones. These are serene spaces to provide students with opportunities of relaxation in between lectures. You may have heard about the Eugene at 75 anniversary, which was observed in grand style last year. As a legacy project for the 75th anniversary celebration, a student experience center will be constructed. The project, as envisioned, will be a one-stop center with a full complement of resources, services, and opportunities tailored to all student needs. The proposed center will house a satellite academic affairs office, office of the dean of student affairs, careers and counseling center, office of students with special needs, student financial aid office, student account office, SRC and GRASAG offices, Innovation and Incubation Hub, and Student Leadership Training Center. The center will also have a large multi-purpose auditorium and smaller meeting rooms for group studies, social and religious gatherings, and other student meetings, as well as open and well-kept spaces for relaxation, a food court, a gym, and other sporting facilities, among others undergraduate admissions. Let me now turn my attention to admission updates. For the 2023-2024 academic year, the university received a total of 60,044 undergraduate applications. We were, however, able to admit a total of 29,758. Out of the number admitted, 11,548 students, made up of 56.6% females, and 46.4% males enrolled for various programs on all our campuses. So the breakdown of the enrollment according to the colleges are as follows. College of Health Sciences, 791. College of Humanities, 4,366. College of Basic and Applied Sciences, 2,557. College of Education, 2,081 and then our city campuses, 1,753, totaling 11,548. 
university is committed to its policies which provide higher education opportunities to applicants who would not have had access through the following. One, the affirmative action policy for women, concession for applicants from less endowed schools, admission of student athletes, and admission of students with special needs. Unfortunately, the university turned down the applications of many qualified individuals because of inadequate facilities and resources to support the large intake. Our inability to admit these applicants with excellent grades is not peculiar to the University of Ghana, but to other sister universities as well. Urgent steps ought to be taken together with the government to address the issues hampering further expansion of higher education opportunities in the country. International students. The university community is rich in cultural diversity. This cross-cultural environment was purposefully created to enrich the educational experience of students and make them culturally adaptable to contribute positively to an increasingly diverse world. The presence of international students on our campuses is therefore important to us. Out of 155 international students admitted, a total of 40 students have enrolled. These students are from 14 countries across Africa, America, Asia, and Europe. We extend a warm welcome to our cherished international students and urge them to enjoy their stay in Ghana, feel at home, and make use of the services offered by the International Programs Office. Accommodation. Residential accommodation on campus has been quite challenging over the past years, most especially as the number of students admitted yearly far exceeded the number of bed spaces available. Management of the university is committed to finding a lasting solution to this perennial problem. It has therefore taken steps to complete student accommodation projects which have stalled for some time now. New projects, including the Diamond Jubilee Hall, the PhD apartments, and the Ghana University's staff superannuation scheme students hostel project are at various stages of completion. Private investors have also been engaged to invest in hostel facilities. To improve the situation in the short term, the randomized bed allocation system, a novel, transparent, and equitable bed allocation system was introduced to curb the many challenges associated with the previous bed allocation process. Efforts are also being made to get suitable off-campus accommodation for students. As we do all this, we continue to prioritize the allocation of beds in our traditional halls for our fresh undergraduate students. And ultimately, the investor will be able to provide more beds for students, especially new intakes. Financial aid. The investor of Ghana continues to promote an inclusive learning environment for all, irrespective of financial status. Along these lines, the Students' Financial Aid Office with support from donors, brings respite to the numerous needy and brilliant students. During the 2022-2023 academic year, the University of Ghana, out of its internally generated funds, awarded 280 students tuition scholarships. The SRC also funded 238 tuition scholarships. Beyond this, our external partners supported nearly 2,000 students with partial and full scholarships. Needy students are encouraged to look out for calls for various scholarship applications on the university's website and via mail. The Students Financial Aid Office is located at Bungalow No. 11, East Legon, which is adjacent to Equafu Hall Annex A. Financial assistance is also available to undergraduate students through the Students Loan Trust Fund. You may contact the Students Loan Trust Fund to initiate the process of applying for the student's loan. Contact details for the fund have been provided in your admission letters. Security on campus. Security is everyone's responsibility, from personal safety and the safekeeping of personal belongings to the protection of university properties. The University of Ghana Security Unit, with a mandate of protecting lives and property and maintaining law and order, provides a 24-hour security to ensure the safety of all members of the university community. 
as part of measures to beef up security on campus, CCTV surveillance cameras have been installed at vantage points to help prevent crime on campus. Additionally, access control systems are being installed at the halls of residence to prevent unlawful access to these facilities. The University of Ghana campus is a relatively safe place to be at all times. However, there may be risks around as you go about your daily activities. Among other precautions you can take, avoid isolated places, especially at night, and report every unusual occurrence promptly to the security office for immediate assistance. Excellence, discipline, and responsibility. As students, ensure that your actions are guided by the core values of the university, which are loyalty, respect, integrity, and commitment. Excellence in your academic journey, journey can only be attained if you have the right balance of studies, recreation, and religious activities. Please note that the university is governed by rules and regulations. Breaking these rules attracts various forms of sanctions. Always be conscious not to involve yourselves in group actions that will land you in trouble with university management. I urge you to read the investing regulations for junior members and acquaint yourselves with the expected behaviors as junior members. Also, access your emails regularly, listen to Radio Universe on 105.7 FM, and visit the investors' website, www.ug.edu.gh, and social media handles for updates and notices. Health and wellness. It is said that a healthy mind lives in a healthy body. Ensure that you engage in healthy lifestyles, eat the right kinds of food, have regular exercise, and rest properly to give your body the needed vitality to pursue your academic goals. Remember that it is compulsory for all fresh students to be medically examined. A well-equipped facility has been set up at a student clinic in the central cafeteria for this purpose. This is to ensure that you go through the mandatory medical examination process with ease. Counseling and support services. The university is an exciting place, but it can also be emotionally stressful. The Careers and Counseling Center has therefore been set up to provide guidance and counseling services. Take advantage of their professional services if you need to. Speak to our counselors about your emotional and psychological well-being. Co-curricular activities. As young adults, you have a lot of energy, ambitions and dreams. Channel your energy and curiosity into productive ventures. Engage in extracurricular activities. Join helpful associations and club. Engage in volunteerism. Learn a skill and develop any innate talent you may have. The University of Ghana Business School Innovation and Incubation Hub set up last year can provide the necessary guidance and assistance to nurture your budding business ideas into viable ventures. A maker space with 3D printers will soon be added to the Innovation and Incubation Hub. Chase your dreams and be the best version of yourself by the time you complete your programs. In conclusion, I urge you to always keep the primary aim of being here in mind and work judiciously towards achieving it. On behalf of the University Council, the Vice Chancellor, members of Convocation, and my own behalf, I congratulate you once again on your admission and welcome you warmly to this exciting learning community. I wish you a pleasant and fruitful stay. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Provost. It is now time to administer the matriculation oath. May I request the matriculants to place your right hands on your chest. You will mention your name and repeat after me. I solemnly promise, solemnly promise to observe the regulations of the investigation. To observe the regulations of the university. To obey the Vice Chancellor.
to obey your vice chancellor and those to whom my obedience is required and those to whom my obedience is required to study diligently to study diligently to seek the truth to seek the truth and promote the good of the university and to promote the good of the university so far as in me lies so far as in me lies congratulations I shall now call on the representative of freshmen to deliver the expectations address. We have selected Ms. Moderatu Abagri Isifu from the School of Education and Leadership to deliver the expectations address on behalf of his cohort. Ms. Isifu, who had her secondary education at Ofo Penis Senior High School, has enrolled into the Bachelor of Arts program in Education at the School of Education and Leadership. Chairperson of the University Council, Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellors, Registrar, Provost, Deans, Members of Convocation, Fellow Matriculants, Ladies and Gentlemen, I deem it a great honor to deliver this speech on behalf of my fellow matriculates for the 2023-2024 academic year on expectations of university life. First and foremost, I would like to thank the Almighty God for this opportunity. Secondly, allow me to express my gratitude to the management and staff for making it possible for us to be part of this great institution and also to congratulate all matriculants for reaching these substantial milestones in our lives. To you all, I say, Akwaba, Kin Kin, Wazo, welcome to the Premier University. Madam Vice Chancellor, it would be difficult to describe the excitement that filled my heart when I received my admission letter into the University of Ghana and I believe my fellow matriculate had similar exciting moments. Let me take this opportunity to extend my appreciation to the university authorities for the impressive facilities made available to us to help promote academic excellence among others. These facilities include a BAM library, modernized lecture halls, sporting facilities, good Wi-Fi connection provided by the University of Ghana Computing Systems, UGCS. The Sakai Learning Management System that enhances teaching, learning, communication and sharing of resources as well as examination. And not forgetting the Student Self-Service Online Platform that enhances academic registration, just to mention a few. Similarly, I have also observed some breathtaking facilities on campus, notably the greenery and the serene atmosphere, as well as the expansion of sporting facilities towards the All-African Games to be held on March 2024. The scope and diverse content of the built environment, as well as its subtle context, provide an excellent ambience for teaching and learning. On the issue of safety, we have observed a considerable number of street lights on campus, which provide adequate illumination during the night. There are some security guards on the campus to ensure peace and order. We have also observed that CCTV surveillance cameras have been installed at some vantage points on campus to detect criminal conduct. Madam Vice-Chancellor, we are saddled with accommodation challenges since arriving on campus. For those of us who live outside Accra, this is an uphill battle. The above situation notwithstanding, there appear to be some positive signs of new accommodation facilities on the horizon on the campus. We are therefore hopeful that shortly, 
the accommodation situation will improve significantly. Also, the ongoing strike action declared by some unions in the public university in Ghana is impacting negatively on fresh students in areas such as sanitation and course registration. I would therefore be grateful if the government pays attention to their grievances to enable them to return to their duties. Fellow matriculates, our aspirations for enrolling in this great institution of learning will materialize if we stay focused, be meticulous in our dealings and be morally upright. Stay disciplined, work hard, and above all, don't forget to put God first. Fellow matriculates, the purpose of matriculation is to enroll and initiate students into the university. This ceremony only marks the beginning of our university education and climbing up to the academic ladder. I am therefore certain that everyone present at this gathering is looking forward to receiving the best education as well as becoming the best version of themselves. Consequently, I would like to entreat you to form good associations, pursue academic excellence, participate in internships and seminars, and above all, keep away from bad company. Besides, let's endeavor to seek support from the Career Guidance and Counseling Center when the need arises. I would urge my fellow matriculates to make good use of all the available facilities to your benefit as far as academic excellence is concerned. I am confident that the Premier University would enrich us with the requisite knowledge, skills and qualities that would be required of us to be successful in life after our academic pursuits. Once again, Accept my heartfelt congratulations, fellow matriculates, for gaining admissions to the University of Ghana. Hopefully, we shall all get to our destinations at the end of the tunnel, where we'll all beam with pleasure and gratification. Long live the matriculation class of 2024. Long live the University of Ghana. Long live the Republic of Ghana. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Isifu. We will ask Ms. Muratu Abagri Isifu to sign the matricula on behalf of all freshmen and women of the College of Education. As stated earlier, the rest of the freshmen, whether resident or non-resident, will go online and electronically sign the matriculation oath. Thank you very much, Ms. Muratu Abagri Sifu, for the address and signing the matricula. On that note, we have come to the end of this afternoon's matriculation ceremony for the College of Education. On behalf of the management of the University of Ghana and the College of Education, let me once again congratulate our freshmen and women. Thank you for making time to join us for this ceremony.